Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is the third time I've done this narration. I don't know what's up with my video camera, but um, all I'm doing is a speed through of a drawing that I did. I've been so inspired by you guys with your Inktobers, and I wanted to um, kind of draw. Um, I'm in the midst of doing a uh, baby doll head kind of thing, and so I wanted to get it down on paper because that's usually how I like to do it. And I thought, well, I was sitting here drawing and I would throw my uh, webcam on and record it and just do a quick speed through. I know some of you guys don't like these, but um, this is just what I'm doing today. Um, I really wanted to show you guys because look how the face, I drew kind of like an oval and um, it really did not work out. Um, and you can see I'm just erasing it. Um, a lot of you guys ask about drawing and uh, tips and that kind of thing. And the best tip I can give you as a mixed media artist is never be set uh, exactly on what you put on paper to how it ends. I, um, as well as a lot of mixed media artists, artists end up not having the vision in their head or what they started out as be their final result. Um, and as you will see, the face is different and, um, you know, the shape of it and everything else. It's, you know, I'm just kind of doing like the, uh, the version on paper that I like to save. So when I do a baby doll, I love redoing baby doll heads and I love sculpting them. Um, the creepier, the better. And although this is not creepy, you'll see I add a little creep at the end, but not much. Um, and it's just me playing and, uh, I'm just drawing with a very inexpensive, um, point. It's a point five, I believe. Yeah. Number two, uh, mechanical pencil from Bic. And as you can see, it has a, the reason I'm using this, cause I really, I, I really don't like the thinner leads at all, but I'm using it because of the grip. See the pencil grip? My hands have been really bad lately and I need it to, uh, I don't know, just to give me a little bit more, you know, uh, a little bit more grip. And then I'm going in with my Zig permanent pen uh, marker, and I'm just going in and tracing what I did. As you can see, very simple, not a big deal. Um, but I just, like I said, when you draw, don't don't sit and think what you put on paper is what your end result has to be. Everything's fixable. Like you can see the face that I did. I changed the whole look of the doll and the face um, and the shape of the face just by erasing that bottom part. But it gives you somewhere to start. And that's the most important thing. You can't get hung up on stuff. Now, if you're an acrylic, um, somebody who paints acrylic or watercolor, who does realistic uh, paintings and such and drawings, um, yeah, your end result's going to be what you see. Uh, it's like going to a beach and looking out and you see the beach and the water and the sky and it's gorgeous and you paint that and that's a realistic um, type of painting. So when you go home or you sell it or what have you, when somebody looks at it, they see what you saw because it's realistic. Now, but think about it this way. You can go to the beach and try to paint that and maybe you're having a bad day or maybe you don't like how it comes out and then you can turn it into this really cool abstract, which is what I usually do with my realistic things because I'm not good at it. Um, my brain and my eyes and everything see things differently. So then you can turn that into a really cool abstract with those same colors, with the, you know, the browns and the tans and the blues and, and whites and, and make a really pretty abstract. And it still can convey the beach, but it's not, um, you know, to the point of such realis realism that you look at it and do you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense, you know, always just create at the end of the day, just create, don't be hung up on the end result. Uh, or when you write, you know, when you draw or do whatever on the paper, there are such beautiful watercolor artists out there and, and acrylic artists who, you know, have in their mind what they want to create on the canvas or in your art journal and they come out beautiful. I'm not one of them people. I just, mine barely ever comes out the way I have it in my head. Um, so I do like to sit and you know, just play around and draw. And that's, like I said, one of the reasons I turned the camera on just to show you. Um, no, I'm using just a regular number two pencil to shade and I'm using a Q-tip to kind of, you know, shade it out um, and leaving it darker around the eyes and the head. And um, although this isn't a typical creepy kind of thing, um, the touch that I give at the end is, is going to make it a little creepier. And I'm just shading it all in. I'm not, you know, 
not worrying about it too much. I'm just having fun and doing it. So I have an idea of the aesthetic that I want to have. Um, but again, doesn't look like anything that I started out with an oval and, and everything else. Everything is fixable. Um, and if not, you throw paint over it and you, or you glue, you know, scrapbook paper on it or whatever, and you just go to town and have fun. Never get hung up. Art is to save you. Art is to help you. Art is to get you out of your head for a bit. It's to make you, you know, do something creative. And there are wonderful, like I said, wonderful, wonderful artists out there who really can sit and teach acrylic painting, you know, from start to finish. And I'm almost envious of them, almost, um, because I do enjoy my mixed media. Uh, that just suits me absolutely perfect. I've even had uh, videos where I've talked about why I love mixed media so much. Um, and mixed media, anything goes. So there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes and you just have a blast doing it. Um, so yeah, so never, never get hung up on things. Sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper and it can be a piece of printer paper. It can be uh, scrapbook paper, uh, any kind of paper that you have and just sit and draw. It could have color on it. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just sit and draw and have a blast. And as you draw, then you can sit and you can, um, you know, figure out, oh, I want that a little smaller, that a little bigger. It doesn't matter. Now I'm just using a red marker here to add spirals in the eyes. Um, and that's just the little creep part I put in. Not Nothing major, but that's kind of where I'm going at with a baby doll that I want to do. And I can't decide whether I'm going to redo a baby doll head or actually sculpt one. I'm uh, in the process of deciding that. I'm not real sure. But I just thought I would come on here and do that because I get a lot of emails um, about starting drawing and not having confidence. And, you know, my answer to everybody is just do it. Um, because you'll just, you'll, you'll get so much better and you'll know more of what your aesthetic is. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Please leave me a thumbs up. If you enjoy my videos, I really appreciate it. Also, I'm on Patreon. If you'd like to donate, I would really appreciate it. My link is down below.